Hey guys, it's Dex back with another video, and in this video I will talk a bit about how exactly blocking works in NEO. Specifically focusing on the key cost of blocking, what determines the key cost of blocking, how you can reduce it, and just how far you can reduce it exactly. But enough talk, let's get right into it. First, let's examine how blocking itself works. If you have enough keys so that after blocking an attack you still have key remaining, you will perform a successful block. If you don't have enough key for that, then you get your guard broken, which leaves you vulnerable to attacks. There are two ways to get damage while blocking. One is via elemental damage, which you don't fully block, and the other is via grab attacks, which many enemies have. Next, let's talk a bit about the key damage aspect of attacks. Each and every attack in the game has physical damage, elemental damage, as well as key damage assigned to it. As we previously mentioned, blocking is a great way to mitigate physical damage, not such a great way to mitigate magic damage, and you basically get the full brunt of key damage no matter what. However, the key damage we take depends on a couple of factors, so let's take a look at those now. The most important factor when it comes to blocking is the parry stat of our weapon. The higher this stat is, the less key damage we will sustain from enemy attacks. Simple enough, right? How exactly does the parry stat affect the key damage we take, and what is the minimum key damage we can achieve via blocking thanks to the parry stat? Before we delve deeper into that, I did want to test whether stances or different weapon types affect our parrying ability, so let's start with that first. To begin, let us see whether the different stances affect the key damage we take while blocking. As we can see, each of the blocked attacks did 30 key damage, so we can debunk this little myth right off the bat. Next, let us test whether there are any differences between weapon types when it comes to blocking, or if the amount of key damage we take depends entirely on our parry stat. In this test, my axe has a parry stat of 34, and I take 39 key damage from blocking an attack. My sword also has a parry stat of 34, and as we can see, I take the same exact key damage from blocking the same attack. So from this we can conclude that the parry stat is literally the only variable which affects how much key damage we take. Other than the muddled status effect, but let's take that out of the equation for now. That of course doesn't mean that the different weapons don't have different parry values on average. In order of worst to best at blocking attacks, axes and kusari gamma are tied for number 4, swords are number 3, spears are number 2, and dual swords are by far the best. So now that we know that the parry stat is what we want to be on the lookout for, just how effective is this parry stat? My dual swords have a parry rating of 80, which is well over the parry stat of 34 which my sword has. So let's go ahead and compare the two. As we can see, with 34 parry, I took 39 key damage. And with 80 parry, I took only 17 from the same attack. In this second test, I took 51 key damage with 34 parry and 30 key damage with 80 parry. So from comparing these we can assume that it is not a simple percentage based reduction and we can also see that the stronger the key damage actually is on an attack, the less effective the parry stat is while blocking. I also promised to show you how far you can reduce the key cost of blocking and you may be disappointed with the results. As it turns out, blocking has a minimum key cost of 10 key. This means no matter how high you bring your parry stat or how weak the incoming attack is, you will always need at least 10 key to perform a successful block. So let's have a quick recap to summarize what we learned from all this. First, we now know that different stances and different weapons make no difference in terms of blocking. We also learned that the parry rating is the only thing which does make a difference. Dual swords have the highest natural parry rating. The parry stat isn't a percentage based reduction. The parry stat becomes less and less effective the higher the base key damage is on the attack we are blocking. And last but not least, blocking has a minimum key cost of 10 key, which means we can't reduce it below that no matter what. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked today's video because I do plan on regularly bringing you some new and interesting stuff, hopefully multiple times a week. So feel free to subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. See ya!